Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book and record to play for you. Today's book is The Little Red Hen for 1978. So let's get started. Pulling the bag of wheat. 
when it had been ground into flour, she tramped wearily back to her own barnyard. That night, Mrs. Hen went to bed very early. At dawn the next morning, she was up with the thought that this was the day the flour was to be made into bread. The little red hen was not in the habit of making bread, but she made up her mind to do the best she could. After all the little chicks had been fed and made fresh for the day, she hunted up the pig, the cat, and the rat. She was sure that they would help, so she sang out, who will help make the bread? Mm, not I, said the pig. Not I, said the cat. <laughs> not I, said the rat. Then, said the little red hen, I will. And she did. First of all, she put on a fresh apron and a clean cook's cap. Then she set the dough. When it was ready, she brought out the molding board and the baking tins. She cut the dough, patted it into loaves, and popped them into the oven to bake. And all the while, the rat admired himself, the pig snored, and the cat dozed by the barn door. At last, the great moment arrived. A delicious odor was wafted upon the autumn breeze. Every fowl and animal in the barnyard sniffed the air with delight. The little red hen wanted to sing and dance and shout for joy, for she had made the bread herself. And, joy of joys, when the loaves came out of the oven, they were done to perfection. The little red hen called out in a cheery voice, who will eat the bread? And all the animals in the barnyard were watching and licking their lips. Mm, I will, said the pig. I will, said the cat. Mm, I will, said the rat. But the little red hen said, No, you won't. I will. And she did. So that the so that was the little red hen from nineteen seventy eight. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment. And have a groovy day. And our next book will be Chicken Little.